Hi everyone, I wanted to go over uh, a new feature that we have available to us because of our email account at SHC and that is called Google Meet and especially during these long distance learning days this is going to be a really valuable tool. Now I, I realize that we're trying not to learn new things during these couple of weeks but this is such an easy tool to use that I thought maybe it would be worth going over. So what exactly is Google Meet? Uh, Google Meet is really just online conferencing. You can have anybody with a laptop that has a camera or a phone that has a camera can actually sign in to a meeting. You'll have different uh, pictures of the individuals uh, in, in live time uh, appear and you can uh, present, you can interact, you can talk. It's really basically just like having a virtual meeting. So let's just go over a couple of those features. Let me show you how this works. So what you need to do is sign into your Gmail account and go immediately up to this little stack of where it says Google Apps. Sign in there and scroll down to this icon that says Meet. And it brings you immediately to this screen. Maybe with a slightly different background. But all you need to do to start a meeting is just to go ahead and hit Join or Start. Give your meeting a name. Let's say I wanted to meet with my block three, so I'm just going to put in something simple like three, and then you hit continue, and the camera is starting, and poof, there I am. Now, um, it says obviously nobody else is here, uh, and then I just hit join now, and I am now in this meeting. Now, here's what's interesting about this. You can go ahead and grab this URL just by highlighting it, and you can post it or actually just hit copy joining info that does the same thing and then post it into your Schoology account with like a time that you want everyone to meet they would go ahead and put that into their URL again which is you know where, where you type in your uh, web address and then they can just go ahead and join your meeting and then they'll start popping up in the meeting individually you'll be able to see them the other way to do it is to just simply add people. If you just go ahead and do that, put their emails in here. Notice I have these people. Um, not sure why these particular people are here, but I could just go ahead and just start adding them and they would be able to join the account. They just have to hit the join button and we'll all have a meeting at that point. Okay. Now what's really nice about this, and again you can see that, uh, it has some features in it that are just really excellent. Uh, some people use Zoom. Zoom is real. If you're familiar with Zoom, it's really similar to Zoom. I think, I, except I think it's a little bit easier than Zoom. There we go. Um, let me just show you some things that you can do. If you go down to where it says Present Now, you can actually show them what's on your screen. Okay, so you can hit your entire screen, and there we go. So it's on my screen. I can share the screen with anybody that's in the meeting. Uh, let's say I wanted to give a lecture on a particular website. I can just do that. Uh, I can turn on captions, which is kind of cool. Do that, and here we go, which is kind of cool. And you'll realize just how poor your English is after you've <laughs> done that. Uh, turn off the captions. If you want to mute somebody, you just go over to this little button here, and it just turns the microphone off. If you want to turn off their camera, does that. Turn off your camera, I should say, does that. And if you want to leave the call, you just go ahead and press that. That's how you leave the meeting. One last thing I wanted to go over was over here, some more options. Uh, full screen change layout. Eh, those look pretty good. I think maybe just play with those. But for right now, those are probably the best things that you can actually do. So again, <clears throat> really simply, what you can do is go to, hold on, Google Meet. Uh, you can go to Meet dot google dot com and put that in your URL that's another way of actually getting in there you don't have to go in through your Gmail account uh, or you can just like I said go into your email account go up to that little Google Apps and then choose that icon both of those ways will actually work perfectly uh, just a note of caution 
you need to use uh, Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Uh, do not use Firefox. Firefox will not support all the features that are in Google Meet. Most of them, but not all of them. And the other caution is, um, let me just see what I, my notes, just real quick. Yeah, no, that was it. Okay, I hope this is going to be helpful to you. Uh, I'm going to try and experiment with my own classes and see what I can do. Uh, I'm not going to hold them uh, accountable for what we're doing since some of the kids might not be able to get in um, because of Wi-Fi issues, that sort of thing. But it might be a good way to go forward uh, during these next two weeks and see if we can get kids and other meetings up and running. Okay, I hope this was helpful to you.